So, I mean, very exciting for you. Tell me how nice it was to get that England call. A very, very good surprise. I mean, um, I was with the Lions at the time and I got the call and, you know, I was really happy. My parents were happy and um, it was a nice, very pleasant surprise. The 2020 maybe didn't go as well as England and yourself would have hoped. Is it disappointing? Um, a little bit. Um, being involved is never disappointing, you know. Um, Playing for England is, is a big honour, so I wasn't I wasn't disappointed. I was just, you know, I feel that maybe I could have played a little bit better for the team. But I think in general, you know, we batted quite well. We just probably, you know, a few silly mistakes in the field and um, the bowling let us down a little bit. But in, in general, it wasn't too bad. Um, we got the Holland game was obviously a bit, of a bit of a shocker, but apart from that, I think we competed really well in the other three games. You've got the 2020 cap. You've got the ODI cap. Is the next step looking towards your Test future? I think so. I mean, um, obviously it depends on how I do for Worcester first. I've got to make sure I get my head down and score runs in the first class cricket and then um, see what happens from there. But I'm not, it's not something I'm thinking about at the moment. I just want to focus on playing for Worcester and if that comes, I'll be very pleased again. The loss of Alan Richardson is a big loss. Does it fall to players like you to help the younger ones through? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've been doing that for a while now, so it's not it's not anything new. We just move on and life goes on after you know some top players we've had, Richardson and Vikram Solanke and guys like that. So um, you just move on and you, you try and your best to fill that gaps, even though it's tough with young, the inexperienced players, but um, it's something we're accustomed to now. So now you're a more experienced member of the team. Is it important that you and other experienced players help the younger players through? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you know, guys like Vikram looked after me when I was uh, one of the younger players, so it's, it's always nice to do that and it feels nice as a young player when senior players look after you. So um, it is something I will be looking to do and um, something we do do anyway. It's sort of part of the nature here at Worcester, uh, which makes it such a great club. So you'll be focusing predominantly on Worcester, but now that Graham Swan's gone, there's a space to fill. Do you think that you could be the man that would fill his, his sizable shoes? I don't think I'll ever fill his sizable shoes at the minute. I think um, I'm a long way off that. Um, but I can do a job uh, as a spinner, which I do for Worcester. I've been doing it for the last few years as a, as a frontline spinner. So I can do a job. I'd, I, I don't think I can do a Graham Swan. Um, I don't think many people can um, at the moment. So I just got to work hard on my body and make sure I can repeat my action and um, you know, get some wickets under my belt and see what happens. Thank <laughs> you.